Hey, Don here. Okay, so I'm going to do a little test here. Uh, I bought these headphones, and uh, they were supposed to be their Bluetooth headset, and they were supposed to also do 3.5 uh, audio, analog audio connection with cable that was supposed to come with it that didn't. Uh, I'm showing you the end because that's, I don't know if I can get it up close enough here or not. Um, it's hard to tell which way to go there. You just can't see it really. Okay, you can almost see right above that red thing. That's where the USB, that's where the USB uh, cable, the charging cable will plug in. Well, I, I got to dawn on me after a while. Uh, I tried, uh, this is for my phones, you know, for my Android phones is what I got it for. And um, no apps, open camera, which is, we'll, we use external apps, you know, no apps would recognize it. And also no apps will recognize my little uh, Plantronics uh, Bluetooth headset that I have here. It uh, was given to me, uh, but it does work if you, the battery won't charge, but it works if you uh, plug it into USB. Uh, to a charging cable and so uh, well actually I've got a battery I can plug it into one of those batteries for your phone and so I could use it if it worked but it doesn't work uh, and it's well either one of them can be uncomfortable in their own ways but anyway I got to thinking uh, hey well, maybe uh, the USB cable would send the audio and I did get it to work but not right I finally got it to work and uh, this is Fedora 23 that I'm working in here and I was in a, my Fedora 21 on my laptop with a bunch of Pulse audio controls, and I got it to work. But it was either all on or all off, so it's not usable. I don't. It's probably not intended to be used that way, unless it's uh, would work in Windows. So I've got a Windows machine running in, in a remote desktop. I'm going to try it in there, and I'll show you what it is. <clears throat> um, Ovlang V8 over the ear headband wireless stereo Bluetooth. Uh, it says foldable, but it doesn't fold. And uh, anyway, I um, showed it before in other videos, but I'll kind of run down this a little bit. Um, holding it up because I think I'm still on the camera. Okay. Uh, it says audio cable for free. Stereo headphone and for calling, um, talking, and it says somewhere in all this about recording. That's what I want to do with it, you know. It might have been in the title. Okay, so um, picture for your voice with. Uh, let you chat using any of actual applications. Skype, VoIP, convert smartphone, Bluetooth. Somewhere there it is. Calling or voice recording six to eight hours. Uh, thought maybe I well, there's only one time when recording is mentioned in there. Let's see. The cable is up there in the top, and then down there in the pack. Look, package contents. Contents, and since they say content, Bluetooth headset, USB cable, and 3.5 audio, audio cable. So, you know, the thing's going back no matter what, even just uh, that aggravated me so much themselves, you know, sending you something they didn't, it's not what they advertised. And it had good, I mean, it's only seven reviews, but, it, you know, even with a few reviews, you don't usually get that high of a percent of good reviews. That's why I went ahead and got it. But, these people just sent me something else. So, then what they're advertising here. <clears throat> so, but I still wanted to, uh, I like the looks of it. I still wanted to um, just know everything I could about it. I just like to figure things out. So, um, I'm going to get over here to my Windows system and I'll just plug it in here first. I haven't done it yet. Uh, what I was telling you about how it'll either be full on or full off was in my Linux system. It's actually on my laptop and my camera that I'm using here is actually sitting on that laptop. I hadn't thought, I'm gonna plug it into this machine too, but I thought I'd just go ahead and try the Windows first. 
Oh, let me <clears throat> let me show what I'm actually doing here. Okay, so I'm just going to... Now, this cable, I didn't get it out, the other one. The cable that came with it, here's the box. I don't know if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. Okay, now here <laughs> is the little cable that came with it. It's kind of hard to figure out where to put it, but it's wound up, but... But, I, you know, I think anybody can kind of tell that's, okay, I'll unwind it. What the heck, why not? Okay. Here's the cable. And, of course, here's my, they're not very long either. But look at the difference in that cable. Can't get it in the camera. It's so confusing to me to, I think I do better. Yeah, I do better if I look at the camera than if I look at the screen. It just throws me off. It's like looking in three mirrors or something. So anyway, that one dangling down there. Oh, that's the one that came with it, and that's how long. And this this is not long enough to use if you were going to do it wired. That that's the whole thing. I mean, you'd get a better signal, quality signal wired than than uh, you would Bluetooth. I, I already know that because the Bluetooth did cut out on me quite very badly. That's the other thing. Bluetooth cut out really bad when I used Google uh, Voice to call time and temperature, my local time and temperature. And uh, it, every time I did it, it cut out real bad. And it wasn't, and when I'd listen to it just on the phone without the headset, then it was fine. So it wasn't, you know, anything to do with Google Voice or anything that day. So, um, and I got videos on that too. A lot of them were just phone videos, pretty hard. Some of them are worse than this one to watch. <laughs> But uh, so I'm going to plug in my what you might consider your charging cable or some some people call them OTG cables I think well I can't see yeah they call them OTG on the go cables but um, there's a lot of difference between the OTG functions and stuff this phone doesn't actually support a lot of the OTG functions I found that out because I bought a a, a Y adapter OTG Y adapter that should uh, I tried to plug in my, um, I wanted to just plug, I already had this, and uh, this here is an audio adapter, and I wanted to just uh, plug in uh, any, you know, any mic that I could plug into that 3.5 millimeter input into my phone, because I read an article on, on how to do that, <clears throat> but it uh, turns out my phone doesn't support all that, so that wide adapter wouldn't help. So I can't put them on my head any, anyway, and I don't really want them on there if the sound gets loud. Because it won't reach. But let me get down here and plug it in. Oh, before I, before I, uh, I want to get over here on that machine so it'll show up what's happening. Let's see if it sees it. Okay, now it made the light come on. But I don't see anything in there. It made the light come on like that. And that's what it did before. Now let's see when I did it on my Linux machine. And I don't think turning the light, I mean holding the button, the power button, it's already. Okay, now I think it made it, well the phone that I'm recording on, it probably just paired with it because, uh, but yeah, I know, I'm pretty sure that's the one I had it paired with. So um, let's go over here. Now then, <clears throat> see that's as far as I can get it. I'll show you. As far as I can get it, it's towards me, right there. So I'll just have to, I think I'll just lay it down on the, I'm not going to type, so I'll lay it down here on the keyboard tray. I can pick it up and kind of holler at it, but mostly I'm just going to leave it. I can see that that is in the shot there. Of course, it doesn't. that part doesn't matter, but let me turn it around where I can see the yeah, buttons and stuff. I'll just use tap. Tap the mic method. <coughs> okay, stereo mix. Oh, that would be every everything, I guess. So there's no signal there. Okay. Let's see. When you click on them, um, show disconnected devices. Show disabled devices. Okay. Line in. I mean, it might be considered a line in to it. Properties, let's see. 
I don't use Windows very much at all. I use Linux, uh, so uh, I forget what to do. This is Windows 7 here. <coughs> Put this up here a little more out of the way. But that check was already there, so. I know to make a mic, when the mic, when you first plug in a mic, it doesn't always work, and you have to get in there and turn it on. I suppose I could. Turn on that listen to this. I believe what that would do if it was working would uh, I never got the mic to work on my Linux system, so I shouldn't really expect it to work. Yeah, mic not plugged in. I can go into the system and stuff and look at USB stuff. <clears throat> Let's do that first. Now I do need my keyboard, so I'll just put that down a little in my lap. <coughs> USB game controllers, devices and printers, device manager. The device driver. Okay, I want to go to device manager and um, let me look at my recording, see if it all looks good. Yeah, okay, make sure it still looks like I'm getting audio or I'm just talking to myself. Okay, universal serial bus, host controllers, okay, sound. High definition audio. I think that's the onboard chip. I'll just open him up. <clears throat> you never know. Sometimes you find stuff where you don't remember that it would be. But it gets kind of hard to read when it gets too much stuff in there. So Didn't expect it to be in ports or networking or modems. Keyboards. IDE, of course not. Uh, CD-ROM. Display adapters, disk devices. You know, you might show up thinking it's a USB stick. You never know sometimes when you plug in a USB device. So, what, you know, it might be seen as to a system. High definition audio. <coughs> so, that, I believe, is my onboard. Let's see, properties. VA technologies. Yeah, it showed up as some oddball name in my Linux system. So, I don't think that it will even, I'm just gonna close that. I don't think they will even play this. What can I play? I don't have I don't believe I have really any audio or video on my system so I guess I'll open up the web browser and just go to my website I just happens that I uh, have a website with music on it because I like just write and sing sing and write songs once in a while or sing and record songs once in a while write and sing and record songs once in a while something like that <coughs> so um <coughs> So I'll just go to um, my website and place something on there. I think it'll play on this. Play it on this machine. <coughs> I guess I've done that. I have the yeah I have the speakers plugged in, so I can just turn them up. Uh, Vast, you don't need to bother me right now. I can just turn them up. I kind of hate to do it that way, but I don't. The last time I checked, there wasn't nobody here but me right now, so I won't be bothering people. And I can flip over here to see if, what the levels are being, being what they are. Okay, so yeah, I'll just click on that. I could, you could, I could play them from here, but um, <clears throat> I'm not even sure if, not sure if these. Well, let's just try one. I'll just try a link and see what happens because I don't remember. Yeah, it works.
No, I don't hear anything. Hello? You know, that's something really strange. Oh, automatic mute. Maybe that's it. Oh, I'm turning the sound up and down on the wrong machine. I was like, why isn't that picking it up at all? I'm not sure what that auto mute does. I don't really want any auto mute anyway. So I'm coming out of the left speaker for some reason. Uh, it must be that cable. There, there we go. Okay, so there's one of my, that's, uh, it's not coming out into the um, headset. Okay, let me just, okay, now I just realized maybe I didn't have it turned up. I didn't have it turned up all the way. Nothing. Nothing. Turning it up loud, loud enough to at least see a decent signal on here because uh, I tried this before and I thought it was working. Uh, when I did the Linux, I tried it on my laptop and when I was doing it on Linux and I could hear it, uh, seemed pretty loud in the headphones and I stuck the headphones over the mic. Uh, I just stuck them up. I can't even do it. The, the laptop's a little closer, but I could stick the headphones up over the, you know. That, actually, I could, that's close enough. It should pick up uh, if it's loud. Anyway, uh, you know, I stuck the headphones up over the mic to show that it was working or not working. And, and it was actually was working, uh, but it was full on or full off. So uh, it uh, didn't pick up anything. And I, I never, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that auto that was already on. I think this auto mute mode. So I'm gonna dis disable that because, yeah, that could that might have been what happened there. But I was using Jack, but still, Jack gets a signal from ALSA, the ALSA driver. So maybe since it was set that way in ALSA, it was what happened. And because I know the my uh, whatever I said on my input recording volume, that's that's what you get in Jack. So yeah, so whatever you set here first, and then. Once you turn on Jack, you can't change it anymore. You don't even see this. So, uh, okay. Did not work at all. And I don't want to fool around forever in Windows. Oh, I'm going to close this web browser because it works the machine too hard. It's actually been running all day now. Uh, I mean, you should just be able, if it was going to work, of course, this is the recording part, portion of it. Let's make sure and look in the, output portion okay volume mixer okay now okay okay they're all well that did got some huh it caused feedback from the windows machine why would it do that Check one, two. Hmm. I 
and stuck my head up there, and you know, my, my mouth right up to it and talked to it. That shouldn't cause feedback in the Windows machine unless there was a signal going through from somewhere. And I, I don't believe my signal from my mic and my Linux machine is going into the Windows machine. The only thing I can imagine is a signal. Check one, two, check, check, check. I can't show that. Well, I'll show. Check one, two, this is what I'm doing. Check, 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 check. And it's plugged into the Windows machine. Let's open up that recording level again. But, uh, yeah, I don't think so. Check one, two, check, check, check. So, uh, now these are all tied together here. And that's the stereo mix. I believe. I will show disconnected devices. Yeah, that way you can see all those. And yeah, the stereo mix. And the rest of them don't even have a, you know, they're not even line in. Yeah, it's not disabled or anything. So, uh, but that's the rear 3.5 millimeter. So that's not going to be microphone. front okay so there's no new what do you, would you expect to see would be a USB device what you would expect to see if it was work if it was picking it up <clears throat> so because um, if I plugged in my other deal let's see what happens I'm gonna plug it I think I can do that with that there's enough room. Sometimes some of the machines don't have enough room, but this this uh, little USB sound card is really fat. So let me stick it in there and see. Well, I'll put it back on Windows so that we we can instantly tell. Okay, that machine has uh, plenty of room. <coughs> Okay, now I'm not seeing. Another device. Maybe you had to install some Windows drivers on Linux. You just plug it in and it goes. I thought you could do that even in Windows with that thing. I thought it didn't really need drivers. Volume control options. I think it's the mixer I want. Or is that what I've already got? Well, that's the volume mixer there. Plug back devices, okay. It should all just be in one window and it wouldn't be so darn hard to figure out. Nothing's happening. Either they're taking a long time to open up or it's, it's the same, different ways to go to the exact same place. Because this is the only two things that are opening up. Had nothing new opened up and already had these open. So, I guess... I mean, I've I've used it in Windows 7 plenty of times. I've done a lot of desktop videos in Windows 7, and uh, it's, it's different, but it's not real complicated, you know. Um, Yeah, I don't think there's anything you need. To use. It, <clears throat> one good thing about it, it's fairly automatic. You know, when you plug something in, it usually sees it. So doesn't seem to be seeing my... Let's see if there's a new... Even a new USB... Spelled... Sub's not right. <coughs> Go to Device Manager again. Let's see... Doesn't show anything there. Yeah, it should say you know under sound and video controllers, it should say some new, something new there. And it doesn't, so it's not recognizing my little thing. When I plug it into my Linux system, it automatically makes sound. I mean, so quick, and it it makes a big noise, especially if you have a cable already plugged into it. <clears throat> so. Uh, like a mic cable or whatever. 
Okay, so I'm just going to close that stuff, and I'll leave it, let it run, but I'm going to close it. Okay, so jump cut, uh, I was paused and had to cough, and then I started fiddling with it uh, without thinking. Um, I unplugged it, plugged it back in a couple of times because it was blinking red. Now it's blinking blue, and what I had finally done was um, unplugged it, plugged it back. I turned it off, turned it back on with the cable already plugged in because when I plugged the cable in, it didn't turn on red again like it did before. So I don't know what what the sequence really is, but... Uh, now, but it said it paired. It said it paired to the Bluetooth device, so it's paired to this camera up here that I'm uh, recording on. I know that. I remember that. Uh, so I'm glad I didn't close the windows. Let's see if it can be seen in here now. If that's different or what? Okay. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted. I just want volume control. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Volume control options. Volume mixer, that's one of them. Okay, no, that's still just like it was. Playback devices. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. Playback, recording, sounds, communication. Okay, so... I think what I'll have to do is play music in it again and make sure it's not actually working this time. Check one, two, check, check. <clears throat> okay, so no, it doesn't, no difference in the mic or any of that. Communications devices. Yeah, that's just telling you, you know, turn the volume up and down while the phones are talking and stuff like that. Like if you had a headset that plugged in, normal, you know, analog headset. <clears throat> okay, so I guess I'll open up Fox Fox again and go right back to my, uh, okay. Um, got Firefox opened up. Uh, let me go make sure everything looks good on my recording over here. And make sure it still looks like it's working right. Okay, now we'll try it again. And... Okay, there's speakers. Oh, that's playback. Okay. I, didn't have, I guess I didn't have that open a while ago. Okay, let me turn it up a little more. Okay, now I saw something a little different there. No, that was just the audio. Check one, two. Check, 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 check. Check one, two. Check, check. Hello, check. Hello, check. Okay. So, double check, triple check. <clears throat> yeah, nothing on the microphone. Oh, and could I hear that? Yeah, okay, let me see if I can hear... I can't stick it up to the mic to, you know, show. Oh, I need to turn. Let me see. Hey, it doesn't have to be that loud for me to listen to it. That was just so it would pick up in the mic on my recording here. Yeah. Nope. We got, we got nothing. <clears throat> okay, so. Close tabs. We don't, we're not, it's not going to work in Windows, it, uh, probably at all. Um, okay, now I'm going to unplug the, this thing from the, uh, now it's still blinking blue and I'm going to leave it like that. Well, it's going to quit. Okay, so I'm going to unplug it from here first. Okay, so it's still paired with the phone is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off, but I had it the other way before, so that didn't fail on my test. Okay, now it's off. Now, here's how I did it last time. I had it off like that, and I plugged it in to my USB on my Linux computer, and it turned red. And I could be, you know, to show you what kind of connection it has. Red for USB and blue for, obviously, blue for Bluetooth. Well, I mean, that does make sense, too, doesn't it? But, I mean, obviously, because that's how it did. 
It, to me, it's obvious because every time I've used it with Bluetooth, because um, it will work with my phone for listening. It does work that way. Oh, got to find the right machine down here. <coughs> okay, now it's red, like I was talking about. So I'm not going to mash the button and turn it on into Bluetooth mode because that it probably won't do both at the same time. Now, I want to get over here. Luckily, there's nobody here, so I can turn the music up. Normally, I can't really. I don't want to do that. Okay, so, yeah, got her in. Still making video. Okay, now, um, I need to play. Yeah, I just, I'm just going to switch off of me and on to that little intro video that I have in there. Okay. I get confused about what I actually need to do. Okay, I need to be listening. And there's nothing on the headset. Okay, now what I need to do, I might want to go with music like I did on the Windows machine. I think I'll just go with that same song. Well, here, first let's... That's not too loud and irritating, so. Headphone. Speaker. Okay, that already stopped, so. No, it didn't. It's just no sound. Okay, um. <clears throat> So we've got sound in my speakers, which you probably can't really hear. I don't want it up loud right now. Um, front mic, headphone, speaker, line out. Okay, the head headphone is the only one. But that's not... I don't... Okay, maybe you got to click that little... doesn't make... Okay, so I can't hear anything. Now, I remember the last time I had to make sure I had it turned up loud enough. I had to turn it up all the way to hear it. And actually, I didn't hear it until the uh, in output, input, output to the, was up all the way. So, um, and I'm not, my talking, I'm trying to stay close enough to the mic here and listen to this at the same time like this because uh, like I said I can't reach it over here to get it in my head on my head I don't really want to put it on anyway it blows my ears off when, when it starts getting loud but I don't hear anything okay so yeah music would be better because it can be uh, you know constant and I've got those same songs those are my that's my music that I recorded so um, videos Get to get in music. I think it's on here too. Yeah. Forgot what song it was. I'm going to play a different one, I suppose. <clears throat> I thought I might play them. <coughs> Sorry, no time for muting that cough. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, that's the same song. Okay. Yeah, but it's not coming through my, um, my you know, from the computer to my input like I was hoping. But uh, actually, I don't know that that would help. I realize now the main thing is, can I hear it on the headset? No. So I don't see what it is I can do in this setup here to... Um, <coughs> <coughs> 
to make it come through. Got it turned up all the way. I could try to turn it. I'll try turning it on in a minute, but uh, yeah, for the headphones, you don't, you know, I mean, if it's coming through, oh no, I did have to turn it up. What did I have to? I don't, actually, I saw it. Where did I see it? Oh, the hardware that, yeah. So where's the, uh, yeah, this one here doesn't tell you the hardware. Oh, okay, in here. That's where I saw it. Okay, so I don't see it. There we go. So I'm not even seeing it. Let's see what happens if I turn it on. Okay, now it's kind of blinking. I'll show you. Um, it's kind of blinking red and blue, both. Does that mean they're both working? Uh, USB and Bluetooth? You know, that's what it was doing when it worked before. But I'm not seeing the, uh, the other card. Before there was both hardware. And all I did was just plug it in. And uh, let me unplug it and plug it back in with it in that mode. Now it's just blinking blue. So, yeah, it. Okay, now it's blinking. There it is. J Jelly. J I E L I. Okay. Disabled. How do you enable it? Okay. So we don't want it disabled, we want it enabled. Oh, that's turning my volume. I'm mashing the button on the, uh, the the volume button, but it's still not enabled. Okay. Now that's what I had to do though to get it to work. So, oops. So I'm just gonna go to uh, instead of trying to use this mixer thing, I'm just gonna use these because. Uh, okay, there's the jelly. Now, this may kill my mic input. That's the only thing. Check one, two. Check, check, check. Check, check. Yeah, it's, it killed my mic input. Okay, now I'm going to start playing music over here. Well, that thing is left. Yeah, see, it turned my master volume way up. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to be gone silent while I change the connections. That's all I can do. Oh, now, now I'm not silent. Oh, my sound is playing. Okay, yeah, I probably was silent. I, I mean, I don't know, but I maybe, I can't tell. Yeah, I can't see the readout, so how would I know? Okay, so um, I don't know if my mic's going away or not, but it, it may go away, and then I'll just see if I get any music out of this thing. But it right now it's blinking. Well, I don't want to switch off my music again. Let the music play. It's blinking red and blue back and forth, and that's how I believe it worked before. So, um, okay, there we go. Output. That's what we want. Okay. You don't need to change the input. Well, you would if you were going to record with the mic, and I'll try that in a minute. I'll, I have myself turned around. Okay, analog stereo output. Analog stereo output. Analog output. Okay. But I don't hear anything. Okay. Um, let me make sure I've got this turned up. Okay, I can do the speaker test. I'll just go ahead and stop the... Uh, yeah, that... Actually, that turned out to be really loud last time when it did work. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Front, left, front, right, front, left, front, right, front, left, front, right. So the speaker test works on the, uh, that was the headphone. I, I don't know that, you probably couldn't hear that on the mic, but I could hear it real good. It was even, you know, I don't even have it on my head. Um... But it was my, my laptop had an, Analog stereo output, 
analog output. I don't remember what it had, but it had one or two other things that this one's not having. And I was able to get it to, and it, I was using some pulse audio settings. I was actually using the pulse audio. Let me look for pulse audio. I think you'd be able to do it in here, though. Headphones. Well, let's see. Maybe that would do it. Now we'll play our music. It worked. It works. I was going to show you the video, but I can't. That was way too loud, wasn't it? Okay, now I hit the volume down once and it did that. It's completely gone now. Oh, it switched. Okay, so it switched. Uh, it's the controls are all screwed up. I, I know what to uh, do here. Okay, maybe I can just. I'm gonna get over here in the. Uh, see, now it's on that video, and I was hitting the. Uh, okay, now that. That should go forward. For some reason, it's muted now. There. Okay, now it's working right. Maybe I just thought I was hitting the right button. Well, no, it went away. That's what it did before. See, so you can't use them. See? So it's useless. Yeah, it's completely useless that way. Uh, I'm, I'm holding, you can see now how I'm holding them. I got them over the mic. Um, they just make it there. In this video, I'm choosing a K. Now I'm doing that with the uh, buttons on the headset. I'm changing that with the buttons on the headset these buttons on the side they're supposed to do that you know and at first I thought they weren't working right a minute ago but I, I think I was just hitting them wrong I was trying to do it while you know I couldn't really see them but um, so there you go it works in Linux just plug it in but um, and I you know I could uh, well if I bring that up to all the you know like a much higher then it was really way too loud and uh, like if I go, I'll just use the headset again. I'll go through a couple more. Let's leave it on that one. In this video, I'm choosing a case from Mom's. I'm trying to get to work and see my input. Your Raspberry Pi project. Okay. Now see one click and the sound's completely gone. Even though there's a signal up there, it's gone from the headset. It has to be up all the way. Oh, see that's not a, that thing, you know, doesn't have constant sound like a like a in this video like my song case from mom's One click and it's gone. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. So, but if I put this, you know, back down at a reasonable volume, the headphone. So it does show as a as a headphone. So, and now they're 
staying on no matter what I do. So, well, now that went small again. So, uh, it's crazy. I mean, it works, but it's really weird, crazy. I don't, it probably wasn't even, well, I mean, I don't know if it was designed to work and doesn't work right, or there's no, I mean, there's nothing on the website. It doesn't, I, this, the description doesn't even say that this is what I was getting. So, I can't go by any of that. But, <coughs> so yeah, it blinks. Um, Red and blue alternating when you've got uh, you've got just the uh, when the, when you got them both turned on. When you this guy's this has got Bluetooth and I, if I don't have my phone to where I could uh, I'd have to start Team Viewer on it and all that stuff. I you know to show it on my desktop, but uh, I could show what it's connected to uh, if I did. Uh, as far as you know the Bluetooth and all that, but um, but I can tell after, from using them enough. That, that means that they're both connected and if I take that out I don't know if you could hear that but it just said the Bluetooth device connected successfully so it connected back to my phone and it's blinking blue now now if I plug this in it should go back to blinking red and blue yeah and so I suppose the uh, sound could come from the phone or the computer in the, at that time. But uh, now, okay, and the other thing I want to try, and this is just so that you can set things anyway when you select one or the other. So, because you know, it didn't stop my speakers from working. Oh, yeah, it did too. Output. I, I changed to uh, this. Let's just put everything on. Uh, no, I'm going to do my output device. My regular speakers and then input device do I get to pick it yeah okay now I tried this before but I got nothing oh and I guess that killed my signal so uh, I will uh, let me just uh, I'll go silent and try it check one two no signal. <clears throat> check one, two, check one, two, check one, two, check, 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 check. Okay, no signal. Okay, yeah. I didn't know you could do that while you're recording. I, it looks like it doesn't mess up the recording. Um, so, yeah, no, I, I, let me see. Have I left out some sort of, well, I could turn all the mics up, couldn't I? Because right now I'm using line. Okay, now let me try that. I'll try turning the mics up. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check. Oh, check, check. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check. Whoa, check. Hello, check. Hello, check. Check, hello, check. Check, hello, check. Check, hello, check. Check, hello, check, check. Check, hello, check. Check, hello, check. Check, hello, check, check. Okay. Um, okay, are we back? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we're back. So, no, I don't believe it would work. The mic would work over the USB at all. Um, you know, it could be... Like I said before, that could be a good quality sound if it would. You wouldn't have to worry about any wireless dropout or anything. That's why, and that would, and, and if that worked with my phone, if I had like a micro to micro cable, then uh, you know that could actually be usable. Although I really want wireless, 
I'm just not 100% sure my phone's going to end up supporting it. Uh, that's the other thing. I, th I think it should. It, uh, well, okay, it does because in other apps, okay, the Google search, the Google, okay, Google, that works on my, I think it worked on my Bluetooth, little Bluetooth ear, uh, Plantronics 220, but it worked on this. Um, the phone call app would work. I don't actually have phone service, but it heard it. Um, Google Voice calls. It could. Let's see. I couldn't tell on the headset, but my Plantronics would do that. I actually made a call on it because I didn't have anybody to call. Is why. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it would have worked. But I do know the Google search picked it up. So the mic. Now I've forgotten. I guess I'd have to go back and review my videos. But I'm pretty sure that yes, it did. Okay, I remember. Um, but. Uh, but the other app, like I said, open camera in my phone should pick it up. Let me check my recording again. Okay, the open camera in my phone should pick it up, but it uh, didn't. Uh, no matter what I said, how I said it, and I think it would work if I had the right type of device, you know. What's this? Headphones. Okay. So I didn't realize you could turn on... Uh, Normally, when you plug in head, well, it probably still would do that. If you plug in a regular analog headphones, it will cut off your uh, master audio, your line out. It turns off line out, which it probably still would do. But now I realize you can turn these two on uh, together with this little mixer here. There's so many different apps to do, uh, you know, what you want to do. But that's really, um, I'm not surprised that Windows didn't see it, you know. Uh, Linux does that's really common but uh, yeah I don't want any auto muting anyway okay but and loopback mixing enabled that should have made it work matter of fact that's why I could hear actually did I hear my voice hello check one two hello check that's what I would think hello check one two no it doesn't make that happen I'm going to leave it enabled because everything was doing what I wanted it to do. And it, as long as it doesn't, uh, you know, like make my mic come through the speakers and feedback, then I'm good. So, uh, as much as I love all this kind of stuff, I can it turns you around. And, of course, I've been doing this all day now, so no wonder it's 5, 13. I started it right 9 this morning trying to make this work. Uh, first, just trying to get my system to where I could show the representation of whether or not it worked. Is what I'm saying. Then I finally started making the actual videos. <laughs> so um, there you go. This uh, Ov Ovling V8 over the head earphone, over the headband, like over the ear headband wireless stereo Bluetooth. Oh, they do finally call it a headphone down in there. Uh, they say it's 4.0 Bluetooth. It is not. It says all over the papers it is 3.0. This is probably an. I don't know. I thought it was a newer model because it was just USB, but it's probably. Well, it could just be a cheaper model, or it could be an older model. You'd think it'd be an older model since it's 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 really Bluetooth 3.0. Um, I don't know if I saw that in any of the software or not, but uh, on the phone, but I did see it in the papers that came with it. So. Uh, that's the other thing. So it wouldn't really matter if it worked. I, I, I'm not really trying to find a way to keep it. I already decided to send it back. I just really want to show just what it really is. So uh, that's what it really is and what it really does. And uh, I keep on looking back in here to make sure I'm still looks like I'm getting the audio, you know, and everything because of all the fiddling around I did. But uh, so that's what it really is. The only thing it actually does that it said it would do is play. It, it, you know, it receives sound over Bluetooth. Uh, of course, the, 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 the website, you know, on Amazon there, it never even said that it would uh, receive sound through USB. It will, but it's not really usable. Um, and. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. It's really funny. But, uh, so I'm going to turn him off now. See, now it's blinking blue once I unplug that. 
So I'm pretty sure that blinking red and blue means they're both connected, and then blinking blue means this Bluetooth's connected. And when and some and if you don't have it turned on and you just plug it in, sometimes anyway, it will blink just red. They did that a while ago when I first started. So you hold it in there to turn it off. And um, it's um, anyway. There you go. That's that's what you get. It's not at all what's advertised, and they actually cost. It's not a lot of difference in money, but there's other ones that are twenty bucks, <laughs> and these are twenty twenty four bucks. There's several others that are twenty bucks. That I saw videos of them working. The only thing is, uh, it didn't. Uh, Come with, they didn't say it came with a cable, and that's why I decided on this pair here because they said they came with a cable. I don't know if either one of them would uh, work with my, you know, impact can put on my phone, and that's what I really want, and to record from it, not just, you know, Google search and stuff like that. So this Dawn and. Uh, that's what you'd be getting if you ordered this little deal right here on Amazon. <clears throat> uh, well, I guess, unless they decide to send different things to different people, I'm beginning more and more to see that sort of thing on Amazon. It's starting to get ridiculous because that is the second thing in the last few months. I don't order, you know, stuff like this a lot, or very often at all, but, you know, when it was Christmas and everything, I ordered... Now I can't even remember what the other thing was, but uh, and I see it in reviews more lately. Like I got, I ordered this and I got that, you know, and so it happened to me too. So it's really ridiculous. So you know, I know these are um, all these different people selling on here, but somehow Amazon needs to figure out how to police this. <laughs> and uh, I know one. Well, I ordered something, it didn't come, and it didn't come, and finally. Um, they were gone. The seller was gone. And uh, I just waited on it. For, I, wasn't in a, I knew it was going to take a long time. It wasn't. It was coming from China, you know. And then the seller was gone, and so finally I went and asked for a refund. I wanted it because it was real cheap, and it had good reviews. And then and now I've got something else on order that uh, they they had a notice on there today saying, that this has we can't confirm that this has been shipped, so... We may have to refund you, or we will, or we're going to, or we will in a day or two, or something. So I guess I'm not getting that other thing either. And so, so they're, I guess they're having trouble with all their sellers. They're gonna have to rework how they do that, I guess. So I guess there's a lot more people t uh, trying to take advantage, you know, trying to join up with Amazon and take advantage of people is what I'm guessing. So. Uh, 